Hello and welcome to this Dungeon Fog tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be looking at the assets and asset manager of Dungeon Fog. It's a very powerful system and once you know how to use it you'll be able to add and change and manipulate the assets within Dungeon Fog as well as adding your own. So let's jump straight into it. We're going to access that by starting off on our map. We're then going to go to the assets tab in the top left hand side of the uh, screen and there you'll see we've got a list of all of the assets that are within the Dungeon Fog uh, package at the moment. And uh, what you'll immediately notice is that there's this large button here that is highlighted in orange where it says Dungeon Fog. The alternative, if I left click, will bring up My Uploads. But before we get into My Uploads, going back to the Dungeon Fog tab, some important things to bear in mind is that firstly we have limited space so if you are uploading files, if you want to upload your own props or textures or tokens to Dungeon Fog, you do have a maximum storage capacity of 1.22 gigabytes. Now uh, I have uploaded quite a lot of assets, you're going to see them a little bit in the video, and I'm only on 14.9 megabytes. Now the reason for this is that the file format that is suggested for use within Dungeon Fog when you are uploading your own assets is a PNG file. You can use JPEGs but PNGs are preferable in terms of maintaining quality and those PNG preferably should be in a square format. So if you are looking to make a prop you can go anywhere from 512 by 512 pixels all the way up to 1024 by 1024 pixels for props. For textures you need to make sure that the texture is repeatable so you don't get seam lines when you are using your texture across a large canvas and repeating it multiple times. That is recommended at being 512 by 512 pixels again. And then finally if you're doing tokens those are required to be squared. They will not work if they're not square and again the recommendation is 512 by 512 pixels as a PNG. So once we realize that we're running out of space um, that's when we start to prune back I suppose. Next up that's important to bear in mind is that when we are going to upload our own props I will select the My Uploads option. Now you can see that I have some props that I have uploaded earlier. These I needed for various maps and things that I was making. Now what is important is that there are three areas that you can upload to and each area is specific to Dungeon Fog and if you upload it to the wrong area it will not appear in the uh, Dungeon Fog catalog as you expected to. Now we find that in the top middle of the screen here where it says Prop. So these are all of the props that I have and would be found in the map editor under the prop tool. If I drop down the chevron here by left clicking on it you'll see that I also have a textures option. Again you would only find these in the texture option when you are working with textures within the editor and then of course we have the tokens. Now you can see I've got lots of tokens that I've loaded up. I like to make use of the Dungeon Fog VTT and uh, so I have lots of props loaded up here. Now we need to make sure that we are uploading our files into the correct one. So if you're making a token load it into the token folder. If you're making a prop load it into the prop section and if you're making a texture load it into the texture section. To load up a custom image for my tokens is really simple. All I do is left click on this orange block. It will open up my folder navigation options and I can choose a token that I have made. Notice they are all square all 512 by 512 pixels and let's bring in this barbarian archer. It will upload the file and normally it would just add it to the bottom of the list. However because I have the barbarian archer already loaded up in Dungeon Fog it's giving me a warning saying that this file already exists. So all I need to do is simply click on the cross to dismiss that warning. If I need to search for a token that I may have uploaded or a prop or a texture I can use the search option here and please bear in mind I can include my collections or I can exclude them as well. It will just bring up wherever the particular search string has led it to. It will bring it up either in the uploads or in your collections if you want to see in which collection it has been saved. This can be really handy if you've got lots of collections and you don't really remember in which collection one of your uploads has gone to. Speaking of collections we now move over to the right hand side of the screen and here you can see I have a few collections already of my own just with regards to tokens and again these collections will be specific to the upload category that you are creating. So this is a token category. You can see there I've got some tokens. If I switch over to prop you'll see I have different collections. These are linked as I have said before to the category to which you are working. 
Let's go back to the token folders now. I'm going to create a new folder, and the same process is applicable for textures and for props as well. I simply click on Create New Collection. I can give it a name. Let's call it Tokens for Today, and then I can create that. And then all I need to do is add some of my uploads to the Tokens section. And I can also drag tokens from the Dungeon Fog token library as well. It doesn't matter. I can bring it from either side. And all I need to do is left click and drag them into this box here and they will now be added. What does this really mean though? How does this actually work for us? So I've now created a series of tokens. I'm now going to go back to the map editor and when I go to token I can then create, I click on the left click on the image as I normally would and there you can see under my collections there are all of the different collections that I have created as well as the tokens that I have loaded up for today. However, the default of Dungeon Fog is always to sit on the Dungeon Fog folder. This means that you will see these tokens, you won't see your own until you select the drop down menu and you go to the My Collections. And then you will see your tokens, you can simply left click on them and engage and use them as you so desire. Now later on in a second tutorial on assets we're going to see how this was a really powerful interface in terms of randomizing the uh, props that you'll be placing down, but more on that a little bit later on. And so that is how you create, import and then use assets in Dungeon Fog.